You know, for me, actually, it would have been a toss-up between lamb and pork. I'm, I'm a Greek boy, so I work really well with lamb. Pork is tasty and fatty and delicious, and there's so many ways to, to make it good. Pork is that, like, special meat that people, I mean, hey, that's where bacon comes from, you know? Some people find my food weird, some people find it interesting, but that's what I do. What did I think of Jahangir? Chef Delucci. Bill. I am a person who eats very little red meat. I would have liked if I had caught root vegetables, but I'm fine with veal. Jahangir is like on some other planet. Where the f did I put that basket? Where the f is this chocolate? Jahangir was made for very good television. I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> so he spends all this time organizing his ingredients. And then when it comes time to creating the dish, he doesn't give us any food. I expected a great deal more from him than we got. OK, so we are missing the drink, though, chef. And then his drinks uh, were supposedly to be played at table side. I'm going to leave it to the other chefs. Do you mind if Chef Jahangir plates his drink? I don't think any of the chefs wanted him to do it. If everything's ready, sure. Chef Natasha? Yeah, I'm OK with it. Those two, they neither wanted to be the person that said no. If I was one of those chefs, I would have never let him. But it doesn't even matter because good karma for them, they said yes and he still went home. He had the worst dish. And it was too cutesy, too intricate. And I didn't get all of those flavors when I was actually eating the dish. And it just didn't follow through in, in flavors and textures and fulfillment of, of a first course. <laughs>